In this video, I'm going to show you how to sign up for a Coinbase account so that we can buy $5 worth of Bitcoin together. I think this is a great experience to have just to go through it. It will it will stick in your brain. You're going to learn a lot better if you just go through the experience. And I mean, what's $5? $5 is like the price of a cup of coffee or whatever, you know, like half a bagel or something. So I think this is a really um, worthy experience to just put $5 into. And in this video, I'll show you how to get signed up. And then in the next video, we'll go ahead and purchase the Bitcoin. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go over to coinbase.com. Coinbase is the most popular exchange at the date of this recording, at least. Uh, it's been around for a while, since 2012. Coinbase came out of Y Combinator. And um, yeah, I think they're just the most trusted and easy to use user interface of all the ones that are out there. So I would suggest you go with Coinbase for this. I'll put a link down below for how to get started with that. There's pretty much one main thing that you do here. Uh, you buy and sell digital currency. That's what it says. That's what you're doing. Um, you know, the site might look a little different depending on the day you're coming to it. Websites always change, but that's basically the main gist. If you look through here, there's three easy steps for signing up, and that's what we are going to do. We're going to sign up. We're going to connect our bank account, uh, and we're going to buy digital currency. So follow me, and we'll do that together. All right, so when you come to Coinbase, you're just going to want to click sign up and just basic sign up stuff for the site. You want to put in your name, your last name, your email address, and a password. For passwords, I'd recommend using a really solid password. We are talking about your bank account, your money. Uh, I use one password to generate passwords. I would suggest you do something like that to make sure you have a solid password. Uh, and then just let them know, I am not a robot. And whoa, we need to select all the roads. Well, you probably know how that works, right? So this is just a capture. Hopefully, hopefully that works. We got all the roads. Oh no, please also check the new images. Uh, there's a road there. Okay, cool, I'm not a robot. I did, now we know. Uh, and then you want to set this up here. And I'll actually just put in my burner email there. Okay, so we'll create a new account and let's see what happens. All right, verify your email. So now you just have to go and verify your email and do that and come right back. You, 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 you got mail. All right, I went over to Gmail and I got this email. So then I just have to basically click that button, verify my email, and boom, we are in here. Your email has been verified. Thank you. So when you get in here, it's going to ask you if you're an individual or a business. If you're a business and you want to start accepting Bitcoin, you could go that route. But for the purpose of this video, let's just be an individual and go through this step here. So individual, uh, what country are we in? We want to put... United States, my phone number. Oh, and now it is sending me an email. Cool, I got the text right here. All right, you wanna verify uh, the email. And you need to put in uh, an ID type, usually to, if you're going to do certain limits. I think we can for right now say, I don't have one of these IDs and see where it takes us. All right, my ID is not supported. If you don't have the supported document type and are unable to compete, complete the verification, uh, it may still be possible to verify proof of residence. So what you're running into here is um, uh, something called uh, Know Your Customer, uh, KYC, which you'll see a lot of the, the Coinbase's, the exchanges will do, is they'll want to make sure who you are. They want to verify it. Uh, this is generally comes from regulation pressure from certain uh, governments, you know, and just their own accountability that they need to know who these people are. So that's what they're asking here. Originally, when I signed up, I didn't have to do this, but now I'm seeing, um, I, I guess I signed up like four years ago, but now I'm seeing that, that you do have to do this here. It looks like you do indeed need to put one of these here. So I might suggest, oh, you could do it via the webcam too. So you could just do this and put your photo up via the webcam, just like that. Allow it. And then take the photo and it should let you in. The next step would be, I'm gonna leave you here to do that. The next step would be setting up your bank account and then we'll meet in the next video for the buying step. So I'll put some links down below if you have any issues. Um, these things are changing all the time, week to week. So if you do get really stuck, I mean, you can let me know, but you might have more luck just reaching out to Coinbase directly and being like, I'm having some trouble getting verified. It's pretty common. I'm registered on a handful of exchanges and usually, yeah, there's usually some kind of friction that comes about. There's a few different ways to go about doing this. So 
I'm going to leave you now to do that, uh, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll be setting up buying and checking to make sure that you did everything right. So go ahead and get signed up for Coinbase right now. Talk to you in a second.